Today we're making perfectly cooked pan seared pork chops. First things first, I have my pork chops here. These are an inch and a quarter thick. Beautiful pork chops, they have been washed and cleaned. Just ready to season up. And for our seasoning, we're using Auntie Nono Steakhouse Season Salt. Really, really good seasoning and some uh, restaurant style black pepper, which is a coarser grind black pepper. And we're just gonna season them liberally with each seasoning. This is a thick chop. So you want to make sure that you season your meat liberally to make sure that you get flavor all the way through that thing. And don't forget to hit the edges as well. So we're just going to season it up with both, flip it over and repeat the process. All right, guys, I forgot to hit record, but what I did here, I put just a, a couple tablespoons of olive oil on the bottom of a, a stainless steel pan, got the pan up to a medium high and we put our chops in and we're going to let those bad boys sear. We're going to let them go for about five or six minutes uh, on this side. Don't move them. Don't do nothing. They're just going to stay here. That way you'll make sure that they don't stick and they're going to have a perfect color when we get ready to flip them over. All right, we've had them going for five minutes. Now we're going to go ahead and flip them over. And you can just see this beautiful color that we have here on these chops. We're also going to place these in a 350 degree oven as well to cook them all the way through. We're looking for an internal temp of about 145 degrees and what I like to do I like to add in a couple tablespoons of butter as well this is going to help baste the meat but also keep it moist and add a nice little pan gravy to pour over the tops of the chops when we're done with them so we're just going to let this butter melt a little bit kind of rub some on the top of the chops get it all nice and basted then we're going to put these into a 350 degree oven again we're gonna cook them to the reach an internal temperature of 145 degrees. It's a good way of cooking pork chops. Um, doing it this way, it almost eats like an, a well-cooked steak. So I highly recommend it, but you would definitely need some thicker cut pork chops in order to do it this way. You can see, we're just gonna go ahead and throw it in that oven on the middle rack there. And let it rise. All right, y'all. So I've had my chops in my oven for about 20 minutes. And we're just going to go ahead and check the temperature on them and see what we're looking like. Again, we're looking for 145 degrees. Then we're going to allow them to rest. And it's going to bring that temperature up to about 150, which to me is a good temperature for these particular style of chops. You can see the, the butters melted, all those juices that we have going on there. They look good. They look fantastic. Color spot on. All right. And they're exactly where we want them to be. So I'm going to do now, I'm just going to allow these pop, uh, chops to sit. I'm going to lightly cover them and allow them to rest for a few minutes. We want those juices to absorb back into the meat. You don't want to cut them to them right away. Otherwise, you'll waste some of that delicious juiciness that you have going on with your chops. So they're ready to rock. In a few minutes when they're done resting, I'll go ahead and plate it up and let you see what the inside looks like. And there you have it, guys. Perfectly cooked pork chop. You put a little bit of that sauce on top. And let's cut into this bad boy so you can see what we got going on. Super tender. Nice and juicy. That seasoning, that Auntie Nono seasoning is amazing. You can see that steam coming off that bad boy so you know it's still piping hot. And I don't know if the camera does it justice but you can see that sheen on there from that, the moistness of the chop. So it's cooked to perfection. Highly recommend this style. Like I said, it eats like a steak. Goes perfectly well with vegetable, uh, some type of green vegetable or a vegetable medley with some potatoes. Good stuff, guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed this recipe, this technique, this style. If you've never cook, cooked your pork chops like this before, highly recommend it again. Make sure that you get some thick cut chops, though, because if you try with a thin one, you risk the, uh, you run the risk of, th of, of drying that thing out. So, Again, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Till the next time, we'll see you around. God bless.